Hi everyone, today I've got three alternate picking exercises for switching strings, skipping strings, crossing strings. Um, this is as opposed to alternate picking on a single string like uh, just on one string you've got your pick just going back and forth on that string but when you start skipping strings it starts to get a little bit trickier. So I've got three exercises that I've picked up from different very well-known guitar players. I'll just run through them first and then show you what you can do with them after that. So starting with the first one, I call this the Gilbert, after Paul Gilbert. He mentions this in all of his instructional videos and uses it a lot in his solos. It goes like this. Now slowing that down, that's on the D string, fret 5, 6, 8, and using fingers 1, 2, and 4, so 5, 6, 8, and then you cross to the G string, you have fret 5, and then back to the D string, 8, 6, 5. And this is all with alternate picking. I started with a down stroke. Down, up, 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 down. So that's the first one. The second one I call the Demiola, after Al Demiola. He's really well known for doing this kind of thing, just on a single string. So this is a modified version of what he's really known for. This is going to go on the D string, fret 865, and then on the G string, fret 865. Repeat that. So this is all alternate picking again. I start it with a down stroke, so D string, down, up, down, G string, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The third one I call the Petrucci, after John Petrucci. This is taking a lick from a solo that he did on a song called Erotomania with Dream Theater. And it goes like this, in the same spot, D string, fret 5, 6, 8, G string, fret 5, 6, 8, and then descend back down. 6, 5, back to D string, 8, 6, 5. So we're using those six notes. Uh, 5, 6, 8, 5, 6, 8. Now as you go to practice these, there's two things that are very important. One is a metronome. Don't bother practicing these without a metronome. I've got mine set to 60 right now, so here's an example of what you might do slowly at first, just getting the licks under your fingers. So doing the Gilbert. Once that starts to get easy, you can you can do three notes per click instead of two. Or four notes per click. Experiment with different numbers of notes per click and different tempos, but always use a metronome while you do it. The other important thing is to go slowly. And that doesn't mean you always have to go slowly. Uh, at least start slowly, and as you over time you'll build up your tempo, but keep coming back to that slow speed because you'll notice things that you don't notice at fast tempos. You'll be able to watch your hands and see, hey, I'm doing this thing inefficiently. I could you know, tighten up my picking a little bit on that one note. And you'll see those things when you're going slowly, and you can correct them when you're going slowly. And then that will seep its way into your fast playing. So one more thing to consider for these three licks is variation. I showed them to you just on the D and G strings and just between the 5th, 5th, and 8th frets, but you can move them to any other place on the fretboard. Maybe I want to do the Petrucci up at 12th fret on the top two strings using different fingers. I might use fingers 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. If you examine each of these different exercises, if you look at just the Gilbert, you'll notice there's five notes on one string and then one note on the, on another string. 
So you can configure that any way you want. You can go one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one. Because these are all meant to be picking exercises, not so much fingering exercises or fretting exercises. So you could, if you want, just isolate each one of these. Note that the Petrucci, for example, is five notes on one string, and five notes on the next string. You could do all of these without any left hand, just go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then start moving to different strings, start skipping strings, that's where it gets really tough when you want to go, say... You've got a bigger movement in that jump, just instead of just from one string to the next, you're skipping over another. Go ahead and check the link in the description of this video. It'll take you to a page on my site with tablature for all three of these exercises, as well as a few possible variations for each one. Go ahead and use your imagination. Plop your fingers down wherever you want. Um, don't stick to just this fifth through eighth fret that I did here. Have fun. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.